My next guest uh, from Baidu to Google is uh, the corporate uh, vice president of uh, Google, Mr. John Doe. You know, generally, it's a, it's a little bit new for me to, to host the whole conference because generally I'm, I'm, I'm backstage. But uh, this time, actually, I lost, uh, I lost a bet with some of my friends who are, I don't think, and they said to me, so you can have to go on the stage and, and do the whole thing. So. <laughs> Now, I'm very, very happy to, to welcome you, John. Um, uh, I'm very excited also about the topic we're going to talk about, uh, which is the future, the future of mobile business, uh, not only in China, but globally, uh, since uh, um, we have a luck to, to welcome uh, an expert uh, in, this, uh, in this sector. Um, so, let's start uh, by uh, talking about the different trends you see for the future uh, of mobile business globally. That's a good, uh, good topic to start with the, uh, with the trend. And uh, the biggest change in this internet stage actually is the convergence of mobile and, and internet technology. And a few years ago, we do some data services on mobile and you find you know, it's extremely difficult to, uh, to use the mobile devices to access the internet. There's a browser issues, there's a you know, capacity issues, there are technology issues, what's so And application-wise, it's also very, uh, very different. And starting, you know, I think two years ago, we see that the company is really coming into a picture of setting a new standard for the mobile operating system. Not only Android, but there are other iOS and uh, many other, you know, beautiful technology really bring the mobile internet coming to a reality. And what do you see that, that the new forms sold in the market and the, 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 the uh, what we call a smartphone actually take a big percentage of it. And also the data shows that a lot of places that people get into internet first through the mobile device instead of the PC and, and the desktop. So, uh, and also look at the development of uh, mobile applications because the browser is easy, the phone is cheaper, and it's faster. And plus, the cloud computing make it available. And the phone in your hand actually can do uh, many, many other things that utilizing the millions of, uh, of uh, cloud computing capabilities behind. So, this is really a time to talk about um, mobile, everything on, on mobile from the internet and from the, um, the current stage of desktop internet. Now, um, you know, I don't know if I'm alone in this case, but it seems to me that the frontier between mobile and desktop computing is really blurring. So, is, I mean, does that still make sense to distinguish between mobile business and desktop business? It's a very good question. Uh, from, it depends which angle you look at, You're from customer side, this is only a device, no matter it's connected with a fixed line or you can bring along with you when you're in trouble. And it's just a device. For you, it's important to the content, the information, the system you log in. That's the internet, right? So from customer end, I don't really care what device I'm using, I just want to have good content, good applications uh, on the internet. So in that device, we just talk about internet, let's talk about application from customer, from user's end, it's, it's just one thing, internet, right? But from device, from, from, from the uh, application side, yes, there are some differences. When you look at the PC-based application and the mobile-based application. So that is the difference, but you know, most of the time, you have one solution that should be catered for, for all the devices. You don't really differentiate that. Maybe this is just for PC, this is... Uh, for, for mobile, it's just you know seamless for all kind of uh, platforms and uh, devices. So yeah, you're right. This shouldn't be really think if this is internet for mobile, this is internet for for PC or, or laptop. No, it's just internet and just you know appear on different devices and and operating systems. So is there a specific uh, relationship? Uh, Google is still most famous as a search company, as a research company, uh, is there a specific relationship between search and mobile usage? Well, you look at the most active uh, usage on mobile is search. Still, still the biggest application on mobile, if you're talking about non-voice 
uh, applications actually is a search. People it's not social media. Sorry? It's not social media. No, not yet. No. A lot of time actually you, you on the move, you're in different places, you want to find something. It's search. It's the food. So, and also, I think it's, it's important that to make you know, voice search available. It's a really big step forward. It's really something a company like Google is really make the technology develop. Nowadays, we are in the, in the different stages. You know, it's not easy to key in things from a finger and just activate this, uh, this voice search. Just speaking, we have you know, launched many languages. In, in Greater China area, we have um, Mandarin, Putonghua, and also Cantonese. You, as a, as a voice search, it's just so nice and just uh, voice out. The search result disappeared, the location that will be appear uh, if you're looking for something on the map. So that, that is technology, really brings search in a different, di different way of, uh, of uh, experience. So uh, that's, search is not done yet, it's, it's a lot more things. You know, an image search, there are a lot more things that can go deeper. It can really make search uh, much nicer than what we are facing. So Google is still keeping on doing a lot of innovations on, on, on the search side. Now, uh, does the fact that every user can be connected permanently to the internet and can potentially search the information applications on uh, at any time, anywhere, does that modify the behavior of Google users, for instance? That's, that's exactly what, what we want, that, you know, that is focus on users. So think about the users, what, where you want to access information, what kind of applications you want to, you want to have. And uh, this is nothing but just focusing on, on users, that you know, everything will, will come along. But is this ubiquity of, of search, is it changing the behavior of, of, of Google users? I mean, in terms of uh, being more local, in terms of search, or being a more personal? No, search is a very personal, right? It's, it's, it's your own way of searching. The search engine should be intelligent enough to, uh, to identify that what is your interest level, what kind of area you are really in most time looking for. We're talking about fruits. The search engine should be able to know that what kind of fruits that you like the most. And uh, so, you know, this is very personal and a search engine should be knowing a lot of things about the user, not the country or culture. So search should be really universal. You know, it's not really talking about one search for one group of people, one search for a group of, you know, you know, uh, you know different uh, locations. No, search is universal. You know, I don't care wherever I am. I just use one product called whatever that solves my problem. Most relevant, most you know, and uh, accurate, and uh, and the fastest way to, to give me the information that I want. No matter on the move, you use mobile search, or on a fixed environment, you use your PC. That's the, that's the way that search information is supposed to be. What are the, the most important business opportunities you see in that new mobile space? Location related, right? You know, once in the internet we suffer about you know IP address, but that is still very much uh, you know difficult to, to monetize on that kind of location. But now since you have the mobility, you have the location information catered. Once you are somewhere in the Zhongguanzhen area, the, the merchandise around this area should be known that Frank is a heavy user, is high end consumer that we should attract you to go and, and do some shopping with that. So that location information add on. Um, additional message that to form for the you know business side that to want uh, to really have a lot of more a business model based on what we have already on the internet. Um, do you um, do how do you see Android evolving in the in, in the coming uh, two to three years? It's it's great to see that the activate rate is is uh, you know already in a in a very big way and it will still keep it, uh, you know, open source, it will still keep it going for free, and uh, really, you know, that's, that's the, the essence of this, uh, this technology is supposed to be. Then you, you utilize all the wisdom efforts from all the developers, no matter where you are, and, and join force and develop this, this great product that it can be utilized in a much broader area and, and in different ways. So I'm very, uh, very optimistic about Android, about another way to look at it in China. 
And this is a market that uh, you know, mobile means a lot. And also this free and open source technology is really helping the economy and helping the companies here in China to make a great products, to make great applications, and Chinese users are really enjoy a lot of the mobile content as well. Do you see any specific um, role that China could play in that uh, mobile search business? Oh, definitely. You know, China is, is just so different. Not only big, but it's different. Look at the user behaviors from Beijing area versus Shanghai or Guangdong. And people talking different dialects, different, uh, you know, and, and culture and habits. So that's really understand China is not a single market, right? It's, it's, it's multiple markets, a different level of things that... So um, China really be part of, you know, the internet, the global internet market. And, and this is the size of, uh, you know, the customer, the size of development. And uh, yeah, you, um, you've got to treat China very seriously and utilize market information, innovation, and, and uh, a lot more things that China will play a very, very unique role in developing this uh, mobile mobile technology as well as uh, mobile applications in the future. So I'm, I'm very, very uh, positive about the, the mobile stuff in China. China is developing actually plenty of uh, very inexpensive devices to connect to the internet and using mainly uh, Android technology. Uh, is it uh, going to put China ahead of Western societies with I mean, this phenomenon of, of this development of, of cheap uh, devices? I think smartphone-wise, that uh, you look at the trend. Now the feature phones still have a legacy you know, stuff over there, but look at new phones sold in the market, especially in China. And uh, you know, cheap and good phones you know, is available. And uh, that will make you know individual users access information through mobile uh, much faster. I think the penetration-wise of, uh, of a smartphone in China, in terms of mobile subscribers, is, is going to be uh, probably the fastest to grow. And um, then on top of that, we will have a lot more applications and uh, monetizations things will will come in there. I will not be surprised in a few years' time, you know, talking about mobile application, mobile internet, mobile content, mobile this, mobile that. And China is one of the leading countries. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, one, one question I would like to ask you, which goes a little bit beyond the mobile business itself, but it's a question I asked uh, your, uh, our friend from Baidu earlier. Uh, what's the future of search for Google? You know, what, what, is, what is more important for a product which is, is free to use? There's you know, people to switch from one product, one search into another, almost at zero cost. What you need to do is just to take care of customers. You make yourself attractive, make yourself usable, and build a loyalty. <laughs> And competition is it's just reality, it's there, but it's more important is your users, it's your customers, isn't it? You just focus on users, make them feel your search engine, your product, and the, 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 the user experience, the relevance, the accuracy, the speed, and, and the mobility, the voice search, you know, putting all social inside, the commerce inside, with a lot of things put together, and just as long as user loves it, you use it, and market share will come, and, and, and you know, business will, will, will come back. So that's always the thing that a company like Google remembers, focus on users, you know, the rest will come. I, I guess uh, my question was uh, uh, to, 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 to know if you could uh, reveal, really, uh, not, not uh, corporate secrets, but if you could uh, share with us, uh, as an average, for most of us, uh, Google users and Google fans, some uh, new trends in terms of product development, uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, services that Google is planning in the near future. We have few, we have been looking at a few product side. We have uh, you know, search still can still need to be more 
in terms of quality, in terms of the, the features, that is still been doing a lot of new things. Like as I said last year, we launched the voice search, Mandarin and Cantonese or German or Japanese or or French or whatever. That that is really on top of search. We're doing a lot. More. You identify that I was French, right? <laughs> It's right. hard to identify. Right. And, and, uh, and uh, the, uh, yeah, in, in the commerce, that there's a lot more things. Commerce is a commercial information. That is all very important to consolidate the commercial inf information, make it accessible and useful. So that part is a lot more. And the, the geo, the location, the, the maps, the Google Earth, that relates to local information. It's also a very, very important area. Google is, is just, you know, very focused and developing that. Android, mobile is definitely the one, and, and video. And based on success of YouTube and modernization now comes in, and a lot more you see that video is, is, is going to be a very important part of uh, uh, information and content. Then we have uh, you know, social, that is also you know, very critical, that you put all the things together, and that is make your, you know, assess the information and content just as enjoyable as doing anything else. So that, that is the way that the, the company is, is doing is getting the information consolidated, provided to the users, make it accessible and useful. So, um, okay. uh, you, you know, that Chinese City is uh, uh, pretty popular among the entrepreneurship uh, community. But we have many entrepreneurs here. Uh, some of them dream to, to be at the, the next Google for the most ambitious one. And for the lesser ambitious one, some of them dream to sell their company at some point. Uh, to a big company like yours. So, as I asked earlier, I do, that's going to be my traditional question during these, these two days. Uh, if I'm a young entrepreneur, or not so young entrepreneur, but just an entrepreneur working very hard to build a company, uh, which type of products or services right now should, I, should I, I be building in order to maybe get acquired in the coming 18 months or so by Google, right. whether in China or as well? Basically, the way you look at why you do acquisition, right? It's, um, you know, if you have an in-house team, you can develop yourself, but now you're thinking about doing acquisition. Basically, it's that you speed up your product development. Someone's already developed, but similar, it's in the a, in, in a same direction. They're thinking about by acquiring them, they can speed up the product development, and there's some great people there already, and if there are some customer base, there's some already, good practice that should be shared. So that is one way. So you have to really in that domain, you should really be that reader that is doing the things that uh, that will be able to be you know, monitored and, and reviewed as one of the targets. Another part is really something amazing that you know, it's out of the box, it's something the new technology, new business model, and it's really going to enable existing things that will become different levels of success. That is something that is normally people looking at, you know, bringing together. And you have to have a vision, you have to really, like what the company acquired a few years ago, you know, big companies, and, you know, from, from video, from mobile side. This acquisition actually happened many years ago. But when you foresee the development will bring in that business up to the current stage, then you can see the success really being you know, proved that uh, that acquisition at that time was was a was a smart one and, and, and uh, the greatest one of the greatest investment. So yes, do things that in the, in the mainstream and have have a value on top of that, or doing something really really you know magic that will will, will make things different. And um, that's no matter you develop yourself or being acquired. You know, just have to to be different. You just have to be great. And, yeah. As a growth strategy in China, has Google been acquiring many many companies, or is acquiring many companies? Is it part of a growth strategy in China? No, Google is search or internet is a global business, right? It's 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 all the products are global launch, right? You shouldn't just feel that hey, this product I can only use in this country when I travel to France or to. Germany. Somewhere else, I can't use this product. It's, it's a universal. So this kind of acquiring technology is not only from US or Europe. It could be acquired from Japan or China or Australia. As long as it's a good product, acquire, building, become a global product, and launch into different languages and, and user behavior, you know, you know identify. 
make a great product everywhere and, and for everyone. Okay. That's a very good insight. Uh, so if I'm a, I'm a young entrepreneur here, uh, I should, and I want to send my company to Google, I should think global, not only China-centric. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you.